Thank you for viewing the Be Ready Street Ministries YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe and may God bless you all in abundance. For those of us who know the Bible, there is a, a verse in Leviticus that's very central. Two of them that, that's very central in this book that a lot of us don't read. One concerns loving your brother as yourself. Another is concerning loving God with all of, all of your heart. Amen. I believe that a lot of us try to love God. I believe a lot of us try to do good things. But I also believe that we are unable of ourselves to love God with all of our hearts and in and of ourselves to, to love each other as Amen. we would like to. The intention is there, but the ability is not. Amen. So what I would like to say is that only by God's Spirit are we able to truly love and truly love God, I think that God is very self-evident. But if anyone needs proof, then I would encourage anybody to simply ask and to simply have a heart of asking. Nice. And that's all you need to do because many of the evidences for God are there. And all you have to do is open your eyes and look. The other passage that the Bible is very clear on is that the blood is life. Amen. The blood is sacred. Amen. And the blood That's is right. the life and the essence of the person. Your DNA is who you are. So when God had decided to create this world, he created this whole world. Uh, he breathed his spirit into Adam. And he breathed his life into Adam. But we lost. God bless you. We lost. God bless you. We lost the essence of godliness in his spirit and his essence of life. And that is the meaning of sin, that we lost the purpose and the essence of God in himself, in us, in him, and him, in us. So what God did was absolutely ingenious, that he sent his only begotten son, which means, and let's not try to use confusing words, begotten simply means that he is aside from the created world, so which he is beyond the created world, but yet he entered into our world and he died the death that any man, like us, and woman, child, would die eventually. And so a lot of us have a hard time understanding who God is. But yet he decided to come into our world. He had decided to enter into our world and die a normal death like any of us. Yet it wasn't a normal death. He did not deserve to die, yet his blood was spilt in order to rip that curtain, what is called the veil. Amen. The, the, the rift between the spiritual world and the natural world God bless you, brother. was rifted between us because of this fall from perfection. Amen. However, that bridge was, was, was given the moment that he died and rose, and the power was given over evil. So therefore, we do not even have to submit to evil things or to negative things or to things that are separating us from God. If you remain away from God through faith, and it's such a simple thing, and I believe the reason why anybody would be separated from God for an eternity is only because God has made it so easy and so simple to be reconciled to Him that there is no more excuse. There is no more excuse to remain in a life where God has given you himself his power except for ignorance. That's it. That's why we're out here and we're teaching because the only thing that is separating us from living a godly good life is because we have ignorance of who God really is in our lives. Amen. He Amen. has provided all things for us to live Still godly and there is no more an excuse. Wow, now we good. struggle, we do struggle, nice. and I'm not here saying that I am already perfect. What I am saying is that God daily helps me to get to that place where I could please God. Amen. And we don't have to be perfect to please God. We do have to have a heart of striving amen. to be perfect. Amen, amen. Now one amen. thing I want to do right. is I want to show this. Uh, God has given me talents to write. God has given me talents to... Uh, to write for his praise. And so I just want to, for those of us still listening, I want to give a short verse. Amen. Just one moment. 
Where is the gun, man? I'll let you go. Just want to praise my God with some verses here. Let there be light in the chaos. I took the leap of faith away from fake thoughts. Tossed and turned him, but he removed the dross as I turned toward the cross. I heard this man who suffered his deity. I knew what it, he knew what it's like to be humanity. Traded places of frailty, still. Son of man, can these bones thrive? No longer trapped in a box, made alive. Resurrection, no fear, lasting darkness when I die. Imputed his spirit, so my lips would testify. Higher, royal priesthood in the kingdom of the risen Messiah. In the face of rejection, so real. Still shalom in my chest is so real. Don't even panic when we see these satanic antics. Calms the storm, it's so manic. Cause we never take his power for granted. Never Amen. take his power for granted. Amen. And I'd like to end it with uh, just saying that it is precious. It is a precious thing to be able to live in God's will. We don't have to strive with our own spirit. He is given his spirit. And when he returns, we can be prepared for his return. What is happening right now in Syria, I had just come back from the land of Israel, for those familiar with, with the Bible, I had just got back from a place that is being persecuted, and I know I understand that being here in New Bedford, we're miles and miles away from that, and we may not understand the thing about why it's important, but if you look at world events and the news going on, these are the things that Jesus predicted, these are the things that are happening now, these are the things that the apostles spoke of, Syria, amen, Syria, Damascus, all of these things that are going on right now are the things that have been spoken of and these things must happen for his return so that he can rule and reign on this earth. Now it doesn't stop with just being seen when it, we have hope that he will come back and rule and reign over this earth and the governments and the corrupt powers of this world will be broken. And it has been broken in the spirit realm, but when he returns, it will now be spoken it will now be revealed when he comes back and all the powers of this physical earth will be broken and he will remake the world and make it perfect like Eden again. Amen. Amen.